Welcome and welcome back. I'm Martin and today I would like to show you what exactly I did musically for Colony. You know, this four composers, one score challenge that the YouTube organized. It might be a longer video, so grab yourself a cup of coffee or, or something like this as I go through my score and what precisely I did there. When I received the phone call from Brian about this thing, I've been in Munich. It was August, it was uh, our summer holiday, and I was... We've become a colony. Yes. I can't believe... <laughs> I'm speechless. Wow. And I was suddenly you know, inspired, like, okay, let's do this. I would like to be part of it. And I had a plan quite from the beginning. It's an unpaid job, so it needs to be done quick. I would like to use the less libraries possible. So I thought maybe to do it only with one library, but then I thought, no, this might be a little too annoying. But anyhow, I would like to limit it and, and take out the most of those libraries. And maybe you have seen already part one, where the, I showed how I created you know, my markers, my, my action points. Then in the second part, I was talking about these sounds and the libraries I used and why I used them. And today we will go through the music that I actually wrote. And one of the goals that I set to myself for this one hour. This is one minute of a score and in one hour it needed to be done. This is what I came up with and it's 26 tracks i used vocalies three i used damage two i used jaeger for a riser i used um symphonic destruction obviously for something like this and the score obviously is wrong why is the score wrong because there was no director precisely telling what he wanted to hear so it was complete artistic freedom which normally never happens and so it doesn't matter what you write precisely. You know, I like it, but if there would have been another creative mind involved, for sure that mind would have told me, I need a little more of a melody. You need to bring this down. You need to bring this up. It needs to sound a little more like. And so, yeah, um, let's do this. What did we have at a, as a starting point? We had this trailer with precisely those sound effects and this dialogue. Relax, David. Just tell us what you know. It was just a routine mapping mission. Another no hope colonization prospect. But they'd been watching us, studying, learning. They made it clear we weren't welcome. <laughs> Before we knew it, they were coming. Well, now they're here. We've become the colony. So, um, there is a lot of dialogue. There's a lot of dialogue and it's telling the complete story and dialogue is king. So if you have to write music and there is a dialogue like this telling the whole story, you really are playing the second or the third or the fourth violin, if you will. It's not about overcomposing or undercomposing. It's just you need to step back. This dialogue needs to be heard. And it's not only about volume. And it would have been too easy. Just think about like ba ba bum bum ba ba bum bum ba ba bum bum ba 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 bum. You can place this underneath the dialogue as silent as you want. It will always attract attention. But the attention needs to be to the dialogue in this case. So there are various possibilities to write music underneath the dialogue. You can condense the pitch range. You can work with textures. You can work with repetitions. This gets so boring that people would like to listen to the dialogue again. 
obviously avoid vocals, avoid complex melodies. This is how you write music underneath a dialogue and this is what I try to do. I'm starting out with the soundscape from Symphonic Destruction. Relax, David. At the very beginning, I will switch off now the sound effects and, and the dialogue as you heard it from the beginning. So there's this one. Relax, David. And I used from vocalies some pedals. Relax, David. You know this. Relax, David. Just tell us what you know. Just like. You know, he's in complete stress, but then oh, he's relaxing. So these pedals just underlined that feeling, in my opinion. And then I'm coming out with a vocalscape. It was just a routine mapping mission. Another no hope colonization. Which gets you a little bit into this jungle. I mean, he's just doing a wonderful job in this wonderful landscape. And I worked with Vento because I thought woodwinds might suit that scene very well. And I've been working there just with simple, a simple chord, some trills on top, like birds singing. <laughs> so this is, you know, just to, to give a, a, a musical texture to that scene, but not taking anything away from the dialogue. And then as you see the alien and things get a little, um, t with a little tension, I have this soundscape. Now just a, a low note opening up. Then I do have from Symphonic Destruction here this one shot. If you listen to this with the speech and the effects. Clear we weren't welcome. Before we knew it, they were coming. So even there you can see the markers. And I always try to ride around. Well, now they're here. Everything that he is telling there, there is nearly no music whenever he is speaking so we come to that part and where mayhem and chaos bring the world to ashes and what exactly am i doing here um, i'm using damage to some booms some low booms and some loops before we knew it they were coming well now they're here There is already so much going on in the special effects track. We've become the colony. I didn't I didn't need to do too much. It was already enough action the way it was and I had this riser here. here. Maybe you didn't notice it. But believe me, that riser really raised up the tension during that scene. What else did I have here? I did have some Brahms, lots of Brahms. It was a brandtastic score. Um, electric guitars, so... A very short melody line. We bring in again the dialogue just to tell you how good we can understand. Well, now they're here. Every word. We've become the colony. Even nice, this pulse here, it's from Symphonic Destruction, just like bah, 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 bah. I opened up the filter and I closed the filter again. And why did I go for vocalese? Um, this whole trailer was 
Anyhow, about us humans, uh, if we are the good or the bad ones, in that case, doesn't matter. So I wanted the human voice in it and I started it a little bit, you know, with these vocal scapes. I had someone singing at the very beginning, but it was distracting me too much from the dialogue. But I'm ending it. We've become the colony. Here with these vocal pedals again and a very sad melody line at the end. We've become the colony. So yeah, that was my take on that score. I think I didn't forget anything. Um, this is what's going on there. I have at the beginning, as I said, you know, just textures, just chords, very low. So you can really get the whole story. Then as the world goes down, there is already so much going on in the special effects track. I didn't want to, you know, make even big music. No, the, 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 this sound effects even they should have done their job and then at the very end we've become the colony yeah i think that's it from my side i hope this was useful i hope this you know can can help some of you on their composing journey i'm engaged for a short thriller horror movie for next year and i'm really happy that they've chosen me to compose the music for this i already started with, with creating the signature sounds for this and stuff like this there will be the whole process from how do i get those jobs how do i communicate with the creative team of the movie what do they provide how do i send my cues to get the proof of this um, to my musical choices to everything probably exclusive on patreon so if you're interested to watch this series for the upcoming movie sympathia then yeah maybe consider um, being a patron my patron page the link is in the description of this video where you then can see precisely you know from how to get these jobs to um, the finished movie in february i think i will get the locked pictures to work on this so i'm really hot to do it make good music always see you in the next video or in the next live stream now i suggest you know i just show you the trailer again and as a whole now that you know what precisely i did and the instruments i used and how i worked on this and see you soon bye bye relax david just tell us what you know it was just a routine mapping mission another no hope colonization prospect but they'd been watching us studying learning they made it clear we weren't welcome before we knew it they were coming <laughs>